Do you recognize the building in this picture? Of course you do. This is a picture of our church. It's a reminder of what a gorgeous structure was erected here back in the mid-80s and how much folks have enjoyed it since then. You know, I love to drive up here at night when you can see the stained glass windows shining through for folks to see on the streets as they walk by. But you know what? My favorite thing about this picture is found right here. Can you see it? It's a mother and two children entering the church for worship. It reminds us that our building is never intended to be just a museum or a, pe a building to be admired. It is a place for people to come and to worship God. I am so thankful that I don't not only serve First Baptist Church, I serve a very active, very loving First Baptist Church where families are welcome, where people come to worship, where God's word is declared, where we are able to sing his praises. I am so grateful for First Baptist Church. And I am thankful that as gradually, a little at a time, we're coming back to be able to be in our uh, sanctuary for worship, looking forward to the day when we begin Sunday school, the time when we'll be able to sit around the tables for fellowship meals, and get back to being the fully active church God has called us to be. You know, I really believe that day is not far away. It's just around the corner, God's way and God's time. But in the meantime, I am so thankful for this wonderful First Baptist Church. Let's pray. Father, we do thank you for this, your church. Father, we thank you that we did not build something just to be a monument to the past or a place to be appreciated for its beauty, but, Lord, a place where your people come, where families worship together, where people grow in God's Word, where we are able to sing your praises and serve the people around us. Father, we pray that you help us to be faithful as we come back to all of the things that we're used to doing. Lord in your time and your way. Help us, Lord, to return to all you want us to be. And we pray in Jesus' name, amen.